Connecting you. This is Iowa's News Now at 10. Tonight on Iowa's News Now, a look from inside Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse as the Iowa Hawkeyes gear up for tomorrow's title game against South Carolina. How both teams are preparing, coming up. But we begin tonight with breaking news here in Cedar Rapids as Iowa's News Now has learned and confirmed an officer involved shooting has left one person dead. Now, I was on the scene earlier tonight. As you can see, the body remained in the middle of the street as authorities were working to preserve the crime scene for processing. Earlier tonight, authorities confirmed to me that no officers were hurt in this shooting. This happened on 31st Street Northeast between 1st Avenue and C Avenue. The Iowa Division of Criminal Investigation now being called in to work on this case. The DCI often called in as an outside agency to investigate officer-involved shootings. Over in Waterloo, authorities say a body was discovered outside a closed auto shop this afternoon. Police called to West Parker Street around 1 today. The body was in a lot next to the former Corky's car care. Witnesses discovered the body near a damaged Jeep. Investigators now working to identify the person and how they died. Well, the first meteorologist Grayson Freund joins us now. And after a sunny day, it looks like the rain's on the way. Yeah, you can see the green is slowly working its way toward us. That rain will be hitting us tonight after midnight and will be continuing as we head throughout the morning tomorrow. But temperatures right now are dropping into the lower 40s, currently at 46 degrees here in Cedar Rapids. Winds today were fairly gusty and it's only going to go up from here. We're at about 20 miles per hour right now, but in the morning winds are going to be gusting up to 40 miles per hour. For tonight, we're dropping into the lower 40s. Again, it's cloudy right now, and that rain will be moving in late after midnight. Winds will be strong at around 15 to 35 miles per hour, reaching 40 in the morning. Then temperatures are going to be slowly creeping up into the 50s tomorrow, Then that rain is going to be continuing. We'll talk about what to expect tomorrow coming up in your full forecast in just a bit. Iowa's News Now Sports, Chase for the Championship, sponsored by these supporters. Well, safe to say you can expect another record for tomorrow's national championship, but at least for the next few hours, the Hawkeyes have set another women's all-time ratings record last night. More than 14 million people watched the Iowa-UConn game in the Final Four, uh, peaking at 17 million. Now that tops every NBA game broadcast last year, even the finals, and also baseball's World Series. Meanwhile, a big development before the title game, Hawkeye guard Gabby Marshall telling reporters today she deleted her social media after she was flooded with hateful comments. Now, you'll recall Marshall drew an offensive foul on UConn in the final four seconds of the game for a moving screen. The call has divided sports fans, with some saying it shouldn't be called in the final seconds. Now, to our preview of tomorrow's title game, we check in with sports anchor Owen Sebring in Cleveland. 